flipping and what that does in the swing. So it's, it's seen as a power move because as you're coming through, we're trying to get more speed, but actually we, we can potentially add more loft, but then biggest thing is we're going to lose control of where the club face is pointing. So as we're coming through, those hands are turning too quickly. What generally happens as you're coming through as well, that that club works up here, then we start seeing the back of the club as we're coming through. The best ball strikers in the world have very stable club faces here. And what's really good about having a club that's stable through impact is that we can stick the ball position anywhere and we'll still get the same ball flight because the club face isn't moving. So a couple of things that we can do to help that is find somewhere that's got a flat surface. So if I use here, as you're coming through to impact, you're going to start feeling what impact should look like. So we want the shaft forward, we want hips turned and that club face straight. From that position there, then we're going to turn into the ball. But what a flip would be here and then the hands go, we want impact position and holding that for a little a bit longer so that club face is pointed to the target to give us a better chance of, of keeping that club face square. A little drill that will help this is just a pitch shot. So I've got a 9-9 here and all I'm going to do is going to go halfway back and as soon as I'm coming through impact I'm going to try and stop as soon as possible. One of the things that happens in the swing for a flip is that left wrist will turn over or the forearm will roll we want a really stable left, left forearm and left wrist. And as we're coming through, we're actually squeezing together our arms and holding on and trying to gain control of that club face. Depending on how fast your swing is, the faster it is, the harder it is to control. So we need that strength to hold on that club face. So if I, I've got a 9-9, I don't know what my club head speed would be. Maybe, let's take my 7-9. I know that's about 95, 96. If that club head's working at 96 miles an hour and just let it go, that club head is going to start turning. So we want that control of holding on that and being really firm in the wrist to hold that and maintain that as much as possible. So to so the drill, we're going to just hit pitch shots. But we're going to really focus on what impact looks like as you're coming through. holding that as much as possible. The club wants to stay outside here. We're hiding the hands, but that club face is pointing towards or just left of the target. If we were to flip, then that club face is already turned. Let's do that again. It's a little bit longer, that one. Let's go a little bit. that ball's gonna be sent out right. So another drill, this one everyone hates. When I teach them, we're gonna stick an alignment stick, hold onto it here, and that's gonna tuck into our ribs on the left-hand side. We're only gonna do pitch shots here, but this works on one. If I'm gonna flip my wrist, this is gonna hurt, this is gonna whip me, and it's potentially gonna break the stick if we do it too much. So as we're coming through, to gain control of the club face, we turn the body more. So if we can see that as you're coming through here, that club is not going any, or that stick's not going anywhere near me as we're coming through. That's maintaining this for a lot longer through impact, keeping it straight towards the target. So same again, half swings, more body. Brings a lot more rotation in the hips and the chest. And as we're coming through, we've created this triangle that stays there and maintains there. If we were to flip, then this is gonna do something here. This is gonna start stabbing us into the ribs. And that's where the bad shots will come from because of the flip. <laughs> 